Hello, pet parents. Robert Semro here at Blog Paws 2014, enjoying all the wonderful speakers, all the wonderful pet experts, all the great bloggers. A lot of things going on here, and it is exciting because we have Dr. Kate Hodgson joining us. Dr. Kate, thank you for joining us. Oh, thanks for having me, Robert. This is really exciting. This is a lot of fun. You know, conferences like this really are amazing, but also they're instrumental in getting the word out. How does it help what you're involved with? Oh my gosh, um, it really is. Because when we're here at the conference, I get the chance to talk about my research and my experience teaching both veterinarians and family physicians. And then all the people who are passionately care about their pets and their families get to tell hundreds and thousands of other people about the really exciting things we've learned. As you've been going around a little bit, you've been meeting people, what's the general reaction to not only the topic you're gonna to be speaking to, but just everything that you and Habri are doing? Wow, well, oh my gosh. It is so much fun to be here. That I'm seeing so many happy pets and the happy people with their pets. I've seen the cutest, most beautiful animals I've forever, and just families who are just unbelievably happy and that's exciting a lot of people have come up and said they are really excited to hear my talk which is to share some of the research that we know about pets and family well let's talk about that for a second for those who won't be able to attend it share a little bit about it <laughs> pets and the family um so we know that pets are a really important part of many families in fact in north america when we think about families um extended families so not just a nuclear family but extended families more than two-thirds probably as many as three quarters of extended families in north america have a pet which is amazing and wonderful because pets are so good for us um, and for them, uh, the other thing that's really exciting is that when we um, interview pet families, they 90% of them describe the pet as a member of the family, as a really important companion, and as a source of happiness and joy in their life. I'm excited to hear the talk myself. Good. What are a couple of the key takeaways that you hope everybody walks away with and shares with the world? Well, one of the key things we're gonna be talking about tomorrow is a new term that you might not have heard, zoea. Zoea is the positive inverse of zoonoses. So zoonoses are zoo, animal, noses, disease, the diseases we share with them. Zoea is the health benefits that humans and their companion animals share. And we're really gonna be talking about three kinds of zoea. The first is that pets can be catalysts for harm reduction. And for example, people are more likely to stop smoking to protect their pet from secondhand smoke than they are to protect their family member like a wife. <laughs> <laughs> The second really important kind of zoea is that pets are powerful motivators to make healthy lifestyle decisions and health choices. For example, the incredible motivation that pets are for health, regular exercise. People with pets exercise more, they exercise more regularly. A pet is the best exercise buddy you can have. And finally, a third category of zoea that's really important is that pets can actually be therapeutic interventions. They're part of the way we can take care of our health. And doctors need to know that more. For example, um, pets can actually be used to help you manage stress, anxiety, and depression. So that's one of the things I'm going to be talking about tomorrow, the three kind of big categories of zoea. Zoea. Okay, I've now said it, so it's out there. <laughs> I am so excited about this. I, I've experienced it, so yes. I'm a big believer already, yep. and I'm, I'm excited that we're bringing it out in mass to the world. So thank you for doing that. I want to make sure people know where they can get more great information, not yes. only about zoea, but also about pets and the family and everything that Habri has going on. The, the place to go is 
habri.org, H-A-B-R-I.org. And on there, there's lots of information about exciting programs that Habri's doing, but there's also a link to habricentral.org, which is where all the scientific research and medical papers are kept. So if you want the, the scientific facts, it's there. And if you want stories about exciting programs, it's there, habri.org. Well, Dr. Kate, I want to thank you and the Human Animal Bond Research Initiative for all that you're doing. Thank you so much for being with us here at Blog Post 2014. Well, thanks for having me. It's fun to talk to you. <laughs>